What's up everybody? Welcome to your sixth Java tutorial with me Travis at mybringback.com and what we're going to do in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you guys to the if and else statements um, basically to proofread our users input and make sure they're actually entering a integer. First I'm just going to delete uh, this dog stuff because we don't need it. We aren't using it at the moment and it's easier for you guys to see all the text if it's more condensed like that. Now the first thing I want to do is just do a couple system outs so the user actually knows what they're supposed to do. So system dot out dot print line nothing new that you guys nothing new to you guys there and within here we're gonna say enter an integer and then we're just gonna end it with a semicolon and copy this statement and paste it right below our second scanner object and this time we're gonna say enter a string because we knew that's what they're supposed to do but they didn't so we had to kinda of define it for them and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up that if statement so right below this scanner this first scanner for the integer that we're looking for we're gonna set up a little bracket or if else clause so we're gonna say if and then this is kind of like the while loop that we did. Uh, we need something within the these parentheses here. So we're going to say if input from user, which is the variable we set up right here. This is a scanner. So it's basically going to take that object. And we're going to say um, we're basically going to check to make sure it's an integer. So we can use a method from the scanner class by hitting dot. And when we hit, or hitting period, I don't know, whatever you guys want to say. And we're going to look for an, a method called has next int. So we're going to click that. And basically, this is a true or false statement. I'm going to show you that real quick. A Boolean means true or false. So um, right here next to it, uh, basically, it's going to check. If it has an int, it's going to say true. If it doesn't, it's going to have false. So basically, that's what that statement means. It's checking the user's input again for if it has an int or not and then we're going to set within the brackets so if this statement is true so if it is an integer it's going to do whatever else and what whatever is within these brackets right here else it's going to do whatever is within this bracket so if it's not an integer so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of copy and paste or cut and paste I should say those two things within this true so if the if the input is true we're gonna say finish again that's what we're looking for down here finish is equal to whatever integer they put and we're gonna say enter string else we're gonna say and finish is equal to one so it's not gonna be any fun it's not gonna loop through and the user isn't gonna have any fun they're gonna regret putting in a string instead of an integer because it's only gonna print once and then we're also gonna do another print statement and just say uh, something like play by uh, the rules enter a string so there we go uh, it's kind of an easy way to check if the user put an integer in or not again this is a, a method from the scanner class and since this object is from is a scanner object we can use those methods from the scanner class so there we go we basically have a proofreading um, make sure we don't get any errors within our program because we never want to have errors and speaking of errors you guys can see right here we're getting an error, an error. And what's happening is it's saying finish cannot be resolved to a variable and you're like what we define finish right here but what's going on is we define finish within these brackets which is kind of a sub bracket or I don't know we define it within <laughs> these brackets so finish will only be able to be recognized within those brackets so we could say you know system out uh, print f or print uh, finish and it would print you know our finish variable but since we're using it outside of we're using the finish uh, variable outside of those brackets it doesn't recognize it so an easy way to finish that or uh, get rid of that uh, error right there 
Sorry, it's pretty late. I told you guys I was going to bed after the last tutorial, but I decided to stay up and make one more for you. So, sorry if I slur my words and all that stuff. But we need to define this finish variable outside of these if and else clause right here. So we're going to say uh, int finish and just hit semicolon. And now we're getting into error within here because we're trying to redefine what finish is. So we're going to just delete our uh, definition of what finish should be. And now it will recognize it as this finish. Um, so every time we reference finish, it's still referencing it as an int right here and the same int variable. So there we go. Now our program should run. I'm just going to check it out and then I'll kind of describe everything that we've done so far because I haven't really done a review that yet. So it says enter an integer and we're going to say 7. And then we're going to say enter a string. We're going to say Wow, enter. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Seven times it printed out. Wow, that was awesome. That's crazy. All right, now let's uh, run it again and say Travis. And it says play by the rules. And, you know, I'm like, dang it, I probably should have played by the rules. I'm like, okay, I will. And hit enter. And it only prints it once. I'm like, that wasn't fun. What was I thinking? Why did I put a string instead of an integer? So, yeah, our program doesn't have any more errors, and it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good there. Now, I'll just kind of talk through everything that we've done real quick. We set up a class called st Starting Point. Within that class, the compiler looks for a method called public static void main, and within its parameters, string, and then whatever you guys want to define this as, uh, and then but it has to be or it has to be an array, but basically uh, it has to have this bracket, right? These two brackets after whatever you guys labeled this as. And then that's what the compiler is going to look for, and that's where it's going to start. So within this method is where the compiler starts. We set up a, a variable, which is an integer, and it's called start, set it equal to zero. Next we uh, print out on the screen, enter an integer then we need to get the user's input so we have to use the scanner variable and to use the scanner variable we had to import its package or its class name and we did that uh, up there then we defined this variable or we called this variable input from user and we set it equal to a new scanner and the system in so we could get the input from the user next we declared a integer called finish we didn't set it equal to anything, but what we're going to do is we're going to check what the user or the scanner object says. If the scanner object has an integer in it or is an integer, it's going to say finish is equal to the input from the user, um, and it's again an integer like we defined in the last tutorial. And it's going to say enter, enter a string after that, and it's going to skip this whole else clause let's say the user does not put in an integer it's gonna say okay we're gonna skip this clause and go to the else statement and we're gonna say finish is equal to one and system out play by the rules enter a string so then we add a new scanner because we want a second input from the user and again it's a new scanner system in now we set up a string variable and we set this string variable equal to whatever the user put in the second time and then we added a new line after that after we got all the input we needed from the user we uh, we have a start and a finish now uh, integer so while the start is less than the finish it's gonna print out whatever the user put in for the second scanner item which was uh, words and then it's going to add one to the start and loop through as many times as it can before this statement becomes false. And then our program's done. So hopefully that made some sense. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. If it's still unclear, don't worry. Just keep going. Uh, you guys will get it like, like uh, you know, ninjas slice wood in half or something. It's going to be super easy. Uh, see you guys then. Peace. Have a great day.